Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is where I've been for the last couple of weeks. This is what I've dealt with. This is the crafter's nightmare. The room that doesn't end. Stuff comes in, but it doesn't go out. I had to totally sit down and re-examine and do everything. I had to eliminate some things and organize the horror. So the first thing I did was I picked up these jot organizer cases from the Dollar Tree and picked up a washi solution. I don't know why no one told me about these, but they work. I only had about four pieces of washi that didn't fit in the cases. They were too big, um, but I just um, ended up getting the rest of all of my stash organized, and I was very glad to see I had stuff I picked up from Target, some that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and stuff that I ordered online, and it was uh, just everywhere. So what I did was I took all of that grouped it together and organized it in the cases and it has really brought me joy that I can just go in there and not be looking for a particular uh, washi tape and that everything's in one place. Um, I don't have a, a whole lot so it wasn't that bad um, to try to, to organize those. So I'm very happy with that. It opens and closes pretty good. So um, for $2, that was a nice little solution to get that organized. And it looks better than it did before. But those just stack right on top of each other. And now I actually have more room on there to put those in here. Here was my thicker's nightmare. So I ended up using this shoe organizer here that I have um, used in craft shows and cleaned up that um, totally. I'll show you more of that later. I have several of these boxes that I've been keeping. I ordered some stacks in those. And so I um, used some contact paper and cleaned that up. I got the stand from Goodwill. I cleaned this up and blinged those out, and you'll see later in the video. I had this organizer. I bought one more on top to put my stickles in, and I'm just going to E6000 glue that in. Well, hello, Crafty Meesters. I'm giving you a peek into my room abode. Um, this is my craft room. So it's not totally done yet, but it's to the point where I can show some improvement and I've only got a couple of things that I want to get into and get organized, but it is to the point to where I can show it off now before um, it gets messy or I get in um, to some projects for the holidays. So I have the stand-up desk that I got from Overstock a few years ago. I have two of them. Um, they have the uh, shelves on one side in the middle and then they have the ones on the outer on the end. So I have two of the outer shelves um, facing and then I have a chair that is a spatula, my um, little play area for my daughter um, on the f uh, for her little kitchen there on the floor. Um, I put a chair through here when I'm not um, using this area. Um, that way I have a entertainment little area over there by the little play area. And then she doesn't get back here and get into things. But um, I have this little thing that I picked up from Goodwill that I put my adhesives in. And then I ended up putting Velcro on the top of here so they won't fly, um, fly off. But I can spin this around. And so I do, um, looking back here, this is just some extra storage that I do need to clean up. But um, it is a lot better than it was if you've seen the video previously. But I have my adhesive here. I have my markers. 
um, that I use a lot. I have them all here. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I just bedazzled it a little bit with some rhinestones. And then these trays from the Dollar Tree. I glued a few of these together. And I'm doing this with one hand. Doing that with one hand. I'm going to have a little bit of my makeup in here. Um, and then I have my little spinning carousel here on my desk. Um, I use my X-Acto knife kit all the time. And then on each set of my desk, I have some stuff that I have in the little plastic containers. And I have all my flowers, extra flowers um, in there, and then all my pictures that I need to, and then my wood pieces down here so my daughter can't get back here and get into anything. Um, on the side of my desk, I have all my glue, and then I have extra flowers back there in that bin. I have cards and envelopes in here. And then I have my Cricut machine in here um, with the only thing I've really ever sold um, besides that skirt that I sold in high school. <laughs> but um, it's just the little cover that I have covering it and that way I can pull it out whenever I'm using it. Um, I do have my ribbon stacked up under here because I am going to be working on a Dollar Tree solution for my ribbon um, because I don't want to spend a lot of money on something um, when I move and take away pieces and I'm trying to find a cheaper solution for that. I have my little trash thing here. Um, just a little thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree but I have one of those little command hooks here and then um, instead of going or looking for a trash can all the time all I do is just stick this on here when I'm cutting paper cutting something small I can just um, put in this little basket and then throw it away later I have 12 by 12 sheets and some um, stashes here um, then I have paper, paper um, down here, excess paper. I have some boxes here that I have labeled um, twine, um, tags, um, little small pieces that I use a lot, and then um, my extra stash of paper cuts um, that I've already cut out, scraps. So I have some of my longer scraps in here, but these are just um, boxes from the Postal Service that were used. Um, and then I just saved them and then put some contact paper uh, on the outside of that to cover that. And so to the other, the other desk I have over here, I have all my eight by um, eight by 11. Uh, smaller paper stacks and then my paper stacks that I have here where I can pull those out when I'm looking for them and so I have all of these here net nine nicely stacked up and then my paper packs that I get from Tuesday morning I like these that one is an actual kit but this one is a good example. I did that with Thanksgiving. Um, but I like these because when I'm doing something and I need to do it for several people, I like to go to Tuesday mornings and get one of these $3.99, $4.99 little stacks of paper that you get 20, 25 of the same um, piece of paper. Um, and I like to keep those in my stash. So... On the top of my desk here, I have my bling jar. If you know me, I love bling. I like to keep that out. And then I also put bling jar on there. I have my little chopper that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's good to scrape up little fine scraps when I'm cutting. My tape dispenser. This is that adhesive uh, solution storage that I made. I guess I'll move that over so I'll be able to spin that. Um, this has some of the glimmer mist on there and then 
some of the glossy accents and things like that. Quick things that I use. Um, my favorite little sign that I made. This is um, Christmas stuff that I just put up here for Christmas time. Getting ready to work on some projects for Christmas. So I thought I'd put this on my desktop. And all the devotionals that I like to read. And then another area, like I said, where I'm blocking my infant. That one has um, paper, excess um, wrapping paper, um, mailing paper, stuff like that in there. And then my Christmas box, the Christmas stuff, and Thanksgiving um, things for projects I have on the side there. I keep my quick paints here. I have some other paints behind me on the shelf. I have um, my wooden uh, Scrabble block pieces, my quick little pearls and small things like that I have in little containers. Um, my quick small Fiskars uh, cutter, paper cutter. I have my cards that I'm making and then um, my pictures that I have in the little photo case that I need to get together. So this is one stash of stuff that I haven't got to yet. I have two of these in the tray but if you saw my craft room before you know that it is nice and clean compared to what it was before. Hanging on this uh, little lamp um, I have went through my inventory and I have my punches on the wall in one of those little pouches that hang on the wall with the shoe. So it's not all that pretty. But I have all my um, punches punched out over here where I can just look on here and see when I'm planning something. I can take this off and that off here. And so I have made a little inventory of... Let's say I want to use um, a flower and so I can look through here and see what kind of flowers, punches that I have and actually maybe hold that up to a project and then I know what I have. So this is all the ones that I have in my stash of punches and then I also did that for my embossing folders. I went on and embossed everything that I have in my stash and then I have it I don't have a terribly lot so it did take a little bit but I don't have a terrible lot uh, box and boxes of them so and then I actually went through eliminated stuff that I haven't never touched or haven't used in a long long time and so I eliminated a lot of those so but these are hanging up and they're easy to access and so I can be able to pull those out and help me plan a lot better and all it did was I have a stash of this paper the heavy heavy cardstock from Staples that I was given at my last job they were going to throw it out and you know as a crafter or any kind of paper crafting or anything um, any kind of paper or start cardstock that has some some cinch to it I'm like um, don't throw it out and of course you know, after a while I was like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah. So I just punched some holes through it and hung that. So what I did here was I used to use this um, shoe. This is originally a shoe organizer. I used to use this for um, craft shows, um, for putting cards on and things. And sometimes you don't have that in enough space. Sometimes you didn't. And actually I haven't done one in quite a few years. Um, as you know craft shops or craft shows are hit or miss and then um, especially now I'm a little bit more busier with an infant so I haven't done one in a while so I said well I might as well just go ahead and use this if I do do one I can find another solution so what I did is I used all my little accessories here I took them and hung them actually on here with these rings and it's actually it seems to be easier for me to find than digging through a bin I can just spin this around to see what I have um, and then I also put at the top of here 
on just some hits and stuff that's already has um holes in it or that's already ripped open um it may look messy but um it's pretty organized for me right now and then i have some of these uh washi tapes that are a little bit too big for my other storage solution that I put those in so I just hung those up there my extra cord so then I have all my thickers here all nice and organized I did have them in this bin down here I had them in there and I would pull those out but with the thickers they started to um, get all in that bin and stick to each other and so I needed another solution for me to help me keep them all organized and clean I said well this will be good because they're hanging and so I can just tape these back up and then the ones that I didn't or didn't have the sleeves to I just use some of those uh, self stickable that you just tear rip off the little stick uh, sticky part at the top I just use some of those and stuff those into and then I have a ton of them so I can restick if I need to um, but this is helping me organize and then some of my stickers that are long and big I use those um, right there so at the end of this I have my cuddle bug machine and uh, my laminator uh, slash book binder and then um, the Spellbinders machine, which uh, I was excited about getting, but I actually have been using my Cuddlebug a lot. It just seems to be a lot lighter on my hand. And then I have my big uh, cutter there. I like to pull that out. It gives me more accurate uh, cut, but I like to put it back here to keep it away um, since it is a guillotine-like cut to keep it away from the young one. I uh, decided to put my trimmer on the wall and then my paper score and envelope punch board on the wall. I don't want to put a lot on the wall. One day I want to have a pegboard wall and have mount things on the wall. Um, but uh, as I said before, I move every other couple of years due to my husband's job. So I just use some tacks um, and put those up there push pins and uh, those on there with that so they can easily come in and off then I just have some of my brushes and little decorative things up there then I have score tape all my stamps um, stamp organizing um, things and all my pads. I have some rhinestones, my glue. Here are the other things I use to stamp with. And all my little glitter and all my little uh, little bitty pieces of bling. And I have a lot of stuff in these little here that I can just pull out. Um, but they are a lot of organized. And I have extra drawers and rubber bands here. And then I have my other little score thing I can just pull out over here, my other little scoreboard. I have in this down here cabinet some of the stuff that I want to be doing in future projects, but it's all nice and tucked away. I haven't changed the labels on here. I use this um, for my daughter, but I put some of the excess um, things I have in my craft room. I finally organized them and put them in a way, and I will be labeling them. But it's holiday time. I've got to get to other crafts. But they are nice and neat. On the top I have some of the stuff I want to be doing for Christmas. So I just left that there. Um, then I have the few magazines that I did end up keeping. Um, and books here. This is um, my next organizing thing that I want to get to in between my holiday projects. I um, got this from at home um but you can um, also get this from amazon um it's one of those little refrigerator organizing trays um and i wanted to get my stamps all 
out of the books and I'll show you later where I still have to get that. Um, I've got these stamp and die storage um, envelopes here and I just want to cut a piece of paper and put those in the envelope and then put, store all my stamps in here and that way they'll be nice and neat in this tray and then I have my foam and sequence, I couldn't think of the name, stored under there. Cuddle bug folders, plates, um, and I want to, if I still have room in my storage, get my spellbinder dies also um, put in there. Um, then in here I have tape guns, um, heat guns, I'm sorry, glue guns, things like that I have stored in here. And then in this I have extra, oh let's see, my letters, wooden letters, uh, extra things for projects, sanders. Um, down here I have Oh, let's see that went out down here I have extra the decorative um, ribbons and things like that in those two and down in the next one I also have that up here I have some things stored here little odds and ends and this is my washi solution I ended up putting um, in in these little trays that I showed I have this little thing with all my Christmas paper. I didn't actually go through this stash because I don't want to throw it out. I figure I'd be using um, some of that this season or after Christmas. I can actually go back and to Hobby Lobby and pick up some more. So I didn't go through that. I have some ribbon hanging down here, but a lot of that is stored in the shelves down here. I do a lot of pearls and shabby things so I keep a lot of that in one little bin and then I keep um, these that I picked up from the Dollar Tree at one time these I have a lot of those I keep those down there that's all like the shabby things this is my DIY stamp machine uh, stamp stamp and press that I made and so I keep that where I can easily access that but um, I have these two desks here and then everything lined up here and so I am pretty happy with what I have. It's not photogenic. It's not totally straight. It's not like I would dream of having it but it is a lot better than it was and it's probably the best that I've had in a while. So. The only other thing I have is over here on this where I keep my TV. I have my label maker and then down here I have the uh, Cricut cartridges and um, books that I have and then I have extra room to store some things. So beginning and then these stamps are the only other thing that I really need to go through. I want to put my wooden stamps all in one case and then get all my clear stamps. I didn't get a chance to get that before I filmed. It had just been so long to take me to get through here. But as you can see here, this is what I was keeping the majority of my clear stamps in. But I would take things off. Things wouldn't go back in here. Some things at the top. I was looking for this Thanksgiving stamp um, when I was doing my uh, my cards. And I don't know what happened to it. Um, they fall out of here. So that's why I want to get them in the pockets. The pockets that are over here. I think that would eliminate them because they would actually stay in that spot whenever I get finished with them instead of putting them in that um, book. That binder has been I've been using that for years and it's worked but it's time to change because I'm losing stamps um, my desk over here I did forget to show that I did have some stamps in here that had fell out of my book 
and I know I'm real and raw um, but it still wasn't that Thanksgiving stamp that I was looking for so I don't know what happened to that but I don't want to eliminate that from happening again but that's it for my craft room I hope you enjoyed this tour like I said I have a few things that I need to uh, get done I need to get those labels get my stamps situated and get these two bins organized but other than that as for right now I can get started with my other projects and I feel like I've done a good job with getting this organized from what it was so thanks for watching and see you next time crafting Easters.